Hi everyone, I hope that you are now passing a very difficult moment and I know for sure that it's very complicated to find the light in the spirit but today I'm gonna I'm here to cheer you up so what I selected for this YouTube channel is totally different from the others as you know the five channels of each days and each week is going to variate from the other four that I'm going to upload and the topic it will also be about reality or either other lessons that of photography that now for me is not possible to give you because I don't have the right collaboration and I cannot go out as basically as much as you so people I'm going to give you a positive messages here whatever are you gonna do I know for sure your situation because I'm in the same uh, at the moment it's not possible to work at all but I want to cheer you up and I want to give you something to smile and laugh her for sure so uh, the other day I was having a conversation with my ex Irish teacher which basically helped me a lot when I was in London school and Madrilingua for sure he helped me uh, to reach my standard and to elaborate a new way of speaking in English and of course also an advanced practice on the job and that was really useful for me. It's a signal to me a new website that it was created by the director of the school I it was working for. His name was Daniel Stevens and uh, he's a very very talented writer because his poems it's complicated is written in a very uh, of course mother, mother tongue English but you have to understand that if you are not politically inside the idioms of this poem that will be a very uh, bit complicated for you to understand but that's not at all the point the point is that his poems are ironic and parodic at the same time so, it seems like uh, uh, he's conversating to death and his huge uh, epitolemy is all about that. So what I want to tell you as forced introduction to this channel is that the parodic and ironic content that you're going to listen is not going to heart for sure what is the policies of this program. I don't want to disrespect this situation, I just want to give you something to smile at this moment because I know that's very difficult to find the light inside the tunnel. But whatever you're going through, people, remember there is gonna be always a person that is going to help you around your path. You cannot be alone, you know, you cannot remain alone even for the rest of your life. So try to understand the magic light that is inside of you and try to make something positive and productive at this moment. This is my super suggestions for today. But let's go back to our team and try to understand what it's all about. So Daniel Stevens, I want to first of all say uh, that this in episode is not intentionally offensive. I don't want to hurt anyone and I have a huge respect for my ex-director of the school. But what makes me really cheers up is the fact that he's a bit sadistic and there is a beast of masochism in his writing. So I love the irony and love the concept beside, beside this English that really makes me draft in love. So I hope that you will enjoy reading this poem and try to find the irony between that and but probably to interpret also in your way. Because this is not an advertising campaign for him, he doesn't even know that I'm doing that, but I'm quite sure that you will like to share his words for sure and trying to see what is really cunning about his writing because to be honest with you I know the type and I know it's a very sad straightforward person on his way and I'm quite sure that he's under is exactly what he's doing was he was giving his personal interpretation to Italian people and culture which I'm really fond of I mean I'm fond of the idea that he has but at the same time sometimes it's really crazy and make comparison can help us also to understand that the craziness in the other people and probably to conceive the variety of the humankind in this particular situation. So here again I just want to give you a preview of everything at all. The introduction is, and I try to understand better, to make you understand better the aim of this episode. I don't want to hurt this person, but I want to tell you that you have to visit this website, which is called onlinepoem.com. It was created by my director of the school in the collaboration with other people. Onlinepoem.com is reachable. And now I will show you in a screenshot, in, in the screenshot that I'm trying to record in, in this moment, you will see exactly uh, the typology and the way this website is structured. 
So now uh, you will see that there is a legal notice appearances at the home and about and subscribe to the other like option that you can find. The first poem that you will open in the page is Mouth Ulcer and even the title will start making parodic like question about what was the idea be beside this website because the guy is talking about different topics which are very uh, separated from one another and is really um, we can say ironic and at the same time uh, very controversial to understand what exactly is his aim when you enter. You will find different themes, children, death, health, Italy, languages, people, poetry, sleep, time and weather. So to be honest with you people, I know there are a lot of episodes that talks about the perception of the English people about Italian, so I don't want to go down in that kind of thing because it was never and never like it was every time dealt. So I'm not going to stay to manage this topic today. What I want to talk about, which can be at, at the same time very challenging because of the situation we are living, is the death theme. So we're gonna go down death. Now the, the website is uploading. And again, we found two very cunning titles that catch our eyes, mouth ulcer, and I've been given some thought. So first of all, why someone will write about mouth ulcer? Like, what, what's the problem with ulcer? If you knew Daniel, for sure, you will understand that he will always, will, will always complain about his mouth ulcer when he was in the school because he had a comparison series of illness. And that's the point of Daniel Stevens, right? This is exactly the characterization of this person. He was every time having a particular state of illness. So it's really interesting to see that he's doing a poem about that specific problem. I've never seen a person that actually found uh, the, the solution to write a poetry about this particular illness without talking about love, without talking about different things. And it's very, for me, it's very curious to understand than what he found of poetic in this kind of subject. So we are going to explore it and we're going to read into that. Mouth ulcer. You swell up my cheek like an active volcano spewing molten pus. Making eating and drinking a pain and waking me at night to remind me of my mortality. So let's, let's teach into this poor stroke. You swell up my cheek like an active volcano spewing molten pus. How do you relate a volcano with a, with a molten pus? I guess because volcano has this kind of uh, explosive substance, which I don't recall exactly the name in English, so is going to relate this volcano to the saliva. Which is with the, the which is very is a very like cathartic way of thinking, and it's not direct. But he, he actually did it. If he, he's a genius, like he found the way to compare a volcano to a saliva, which is very like cunning. And second time, making eating and drinking a pain and waking me at night to remind me of my mortality. So the mouth ulcer doesn't only wake you when it's night, man. It also produce something effect when you are during day. So the fact that he's uh, talking about the night is because he's collect he's connecting the night with death. So every time he go to he went to bed with a mouth ulcer, I think he's going to die. That's exactly the perception. The internet informs me you'll probably depart within two or three weeks and that. I love this line because what is telling you people is exactly what I was expecting for you to read. Like it's telling you precisely, you are a internet population, you only base your brain upon online information and you don't, you don't trust your doctor basically. So you should start considering the fact that everything is online, sometimes uh, is misunderstood, is misjudged, is misused, is abused. So you don't have to basically uh, stick every time onto that and uh, adapt to that kind of situation. You should find more like mm, new way of thinking, new way of uh, having opinion that it's not only based on the internet. That's really cunning, no? Huh? And the second line is, I should kindly not bug my doctor until after this period has passed. 
that's a very Catholic way of thinking about the doctors that could save your life and they are there in any moment of your life. This is not exactly the, tr the truth. The doctors are not always available and we knew that they are very engaged, especially busy at the moment. But the fact we have to try to deconcentrate from the current situation, it's really necessary to dig into this point because uh, I want to give you the, 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 the sadistic part of that, the irony between them. So don't think about the doctor in this way. Think about specific about the individual because he always had the urgent needs of doctor, like they are the angels of your life and they probably save your life also from mouth ulcer anytime you call, 24 hours a day. If you persist after that, though, you could be a sign of mouth cancer, in which case I'll skip the queue and the doctor's office and call the undertaker instead. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing now? Because the guy is always obsessed with Undertaker. Most of his poems, if you read in through all the website, are going to take about Undertakers, priors, and peoples that basically are going to die and they're going to illness. So, in my personal way, when I was raised by my school, they teach me how to write poems, but also how to create poems on your own fantasy. And I also write sometimes poems. I admire the irony of Daniel, and I don't want to judge him. I just want to give a personal critics to his poem. And I think it's really unusual to find someone that makes a poem about a mouth ulcer, which uh, becomes really popular at the same time on the online web. But that's the, the fact. He made a stupid consideration about mouth ulcer and all the people are crazy about that and which is a sign of uh, tuberculosis in the end of mouth cancer that's really a disaster it's always talking about the constructive and exaggerated moment in parody in his life and I cannot take it I'm really done with it okay let's go go on with the next poem so Italian people the next poem if you are they have the same origin like mine don't feel offended in any way because Daniel is not going to criticize you like a population but he has a strong perception and thoughts that English and Italian people are totally different perspective that the government is giving them specific rules and we have other rules to respect. It's true we are not longer part of the European Union together and this makes me really sad about because I believe English are always our cousin and I respect their cultures, I love their way of, uh, of reaching point at the same level straightforwardly but don't feel you are like detronized by this person because, because what you're thinking is, is all about is microcosm. So this is the pre preview of my poetry. This is a personal interpretation of this life and I want to tell you that I'm deliver delivering it on the public. It's very intimate but at the same time it's visible on the web. So why not share with you this particular ironic way of thinking of Daniel. Let's go to the second poem. This is Lee. I've been given some thought. So, reflect upon the title of this poem. I've been given some thought. It doesn't catch me like, for example, like mouth ulcer. Mouth ulcer is direct. I knew exactly the topic is talking about. I've been given some thought is, is more like a sort of poem, epic poem probably delivered by Homeros during the writer of Odyssey. So I'm not sure if I'm going to write to read into that. But if I never read into this poem, I would have never known how much really he is so hilarious and inspiring. Because that's, that's really a detronizing poem. That's the epitome of poetry, but guys. Because in this poem, it's, uh, um, it's collected all the political value and at the same time the corruption, we can say, and the misunderstanding of ideas and the conceptual um, strange way of behaving and mindset of this person. <laughs> but I would love to read with you and uh, to make this journey together because that's going to be really incredible. I've been given some food, so enter, click on that title and read the first line. As you can see, there is also a very, an illustration made by Anya Lowry, 
which I don't know exactly uh, the origin, I don't know the, the, the biography of Anya Lowry, but for sure it was in collaboration with Daniel. Uh, we can say that this is like the club of the deaf poetry or something similar, but Daniel is not exactly like our Robin Williams. So we, the drawing is very sketchy. Here there is plastic and cans and here there is organic. So it makes talks about like recycling or something similar. Let's, let's go. Uh, apart from the fact that Daniel wants to make a personal admiration of Italian people that are making recycling, because actually I knew for sure that in England recycling is not a very fun and popular attitude. So uh, let's see what he's going to talk about.